Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Gentlemen, welcome to the National Film and TV Awards South Africa, produced by the National Film Academy and sponsored by BMW official car sponsor, Krispy Kreme, Telefono's official social media network, Bubix TV, Aquile official water sponsor, Chateau Del Rai, Glow Skin Studio, Dayshovel, Suki Suki, Bitch and Leeds, Vignette Wine, Neil Tika, and Mokingo. Broadcasting live from the Opera Theater to Vuvix TV. And now, please welcome your host for the evening, Jordan Kensington and Sadie Eaton. One, two, one, two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the National Film and TV Awards. How are you guys doing? Fantastic, fantastic. Lovely to be here. And I've got to say, Sally, you're looking absolutely stunning. Thank you so much, Jordan. Do you, you know what? Forget about us. Look at you guys in the audience. You're looking absolutely gorgeous.com. Loving it, loving it. Good energy in the house. That's what I like to see. Amazing, amazing. But Jordan, before we start, can yeah. I just say you're looking smoking hot. Oh, thank as well. you, thank you, thank you. Say less, say less, say less. Now, look, we are here at the National Film and Television Awards. Uh, it's the first one in South Africa, and uh, we are excited to be here. You guys excited? Uh, that's what I like to see. It's all about energy. It's all about energy. I love positive mental energy. I love the energy. It's going to be a good night tonight. So I am really excited about that. But before we start, before we start, because it's all good talking about the present, but you can't start with the present without understanding the past. Am I right? right? Yes, that's true. You've got to understand the past before you go into the present. So we're going to take you into a little history about the National Film Academy, because we launched since 1999 in the UK, um, and and we became uh, an, awards, uh, an awards academy that supports mentors, actors, actresses, producers, directors, and much more. By 2007, the academy had expanded into over 15 territories and amassed over 4.5 million academy members worldwide. In 2015, the first National Film Awards Europe taking place in London was launched. 
That's right. And in 2018, the awards expanded into North America, uh, making history as the first award ceremony in Europe to ever launch in the USA. But let's stop talking. Let's let the VT do the talk. Roll VT. Thank you. Welcome to the heartbeat of cinematic celebration, the National Film and Television Awards. Since its founding in 1999, the National Film Academy has been the driving force behind an extraordinary journey, culminating in the launch of the National Film Awards UK in 2015. A glittering spectacle that annually pays tribute to the brilliance of filmmakers, actors, casting directors, production companies, and the unsung heroes backstage. Our journey has been adorned by the support of remarkable sponsors, MAC Cosmetics, Ortu, Fiji Water, Moat and Chandon, Lamborghini. Visit Maldives, Facebook, Gucci, Batist, Uber, British Airways, and many more. Each name contributing to the grandeur of an event like me. But what truly sets the National Film Awards apart is that it's the only film and television awards show in the world where the power of decision rests firmly in the hands of the people. Over 4.5 million votes are cast each year, making our awards a genuine reflection of the passions of film and TV fans worldwide. I speak for both of us, we're saying that we're just proud of being part of an iconic show. Best actor in the TV series 2022, Ben Miller, Professor T. Look at that. National Film Academy for this award. One of the reasons it feels special is because if you work in the world of comedy, mainly, as I do, then awards generally are something you don't have to worry about very much. They tend to pass you by. So when one suddenly stops and is given to you and lands with you, then it's actually quite a rare and special occasion, and for that I'm extremely grateful. I'd like to say thank you so much. Um, I'm sure you do know how much this means, particularly to me, because, you know, life's tough, isn't it? You work hard and you hope to please people, and the fact that you really care and you did vote for me, bless you. Thank the National Film Academy for this award. Um, it's amazing. It's wonderful to be recognized and even more wonderful than the fans of the national day recognized. Thank you very much. I hope to continue entertaining. All right, to the best film. I'm thankful, you know what I mean? It's nice to get recognized. Uh, it's the first film I've directed, so it feels very, just really, really, really good. Hey everybody, it's Trevor Noah here. I'm really sorry I couldn't be there tonight. I'm taping The Daily Show here in New York. So I just wanted to say thank you to the National Film Academy for this honor, and thank you to all the fans who voted for the show, especially the ones who steal their neighbor's Wi-Fi to stream the show. You guys are the real heroes. So thank you again, and congratulations to all the nominees. I only flew in from LA last night, so I was feeling a bit of a two, and now I'm close to a nothing. It's quite good. And now, our celebration has transcended borders, with versions held not only in the UK, but also in the USA and Africa. Beyond the glitz and glamour, the National Film Academy has a mission to support, develop, promote, and celebrate the achievements of the motion picture industry globally. 
With over 4.5 million members worldwide, we curate premieres, festivals, seminars, conferences, and educational events, fostering an environment where creativity thrives. The media echo our enthusiasm with the National Film Awards achieving nationwide coverage across major outlets. From the red carpet to the silver screen, we celebrate not just the biggest celebrities, but also the finest TV series and films that have left an indelible mark on our hearts. Whether you're a filmmaker, actor, or just a fan, be part of an event that unites us all in the love for storytelling. Thank you. I watched a film, I thought I died. Uh, so wonderful to have the wife and the two boys here and the rest of the family in Florida, Utah, and Pennsylvania. I've been around. I was 85 years old last week. I still can't believe it. I've been broadcasting 61 years and I've loved every minute of it. I'm so proud to be in this industry and to get a Lifetime Achievement Award, what can I say? I hope I get another one in 20 years. <laughs> it's a long night, so I'm not gonna take up your time, but I thank you very much. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, James. And thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. Right, round of applause, guys, round of applause. Remembering the amazing Larry King there from CNN. Uh, that guy, if you're into broadcasting, uh, that guy made history. Uh, and it was, it was lovely presenting him with a Lifetime Achievement Award in USA. Okay, back to tonight. Public nominations for the National Film and TV Awards started in January with a huge campaign for South Africans nationwide the diaspora globally, and the public at large to nominate their favorites in all the categories. That's uh, so right. Only works that were released or aired between 2022 and 2023 were eligible for the nominations. By the deadline of the 30th of July, 2023, all public entries were finalized. On the 4th of August, the official nominations were announced for the public to start voting via South Africa's new social media network, Telephonos.com. And today we are proud to announce the winners of the 28 categories as voted for by the public. Uh, so let's give a round of applause to all the nominees and the subsequent winners for this year's first annual National Film and TV Awards South Africa. Come on! Let's go! Love it, love it, love it. Now, the power of storytelling brings us all together, creating those moments that make us laugh, cry, and most importantly, keep us glued to our screens. Definitely glued. Let's kick off the proceedings with the first category of the evening, Best Scripted TV Series, and the nominees are... The nominees for Best Scripted TV Series 2023 are... Hotel. Kijk net, sta ik kijk voor Danny. Ik vind Noah op Doe een ticket Doe een Doe How to Ruin Christmas. you can't say that. That's my job. The Wife. That is it. Buy yourself with cards, so... 
Scandal. Justice served. You will choose freedom or death. The river. More twists. More deception. And more star studded drama. Don't touch me. Expect. Okay, okay. Uh, right, so here to announce the winner for best TV scripted TV series. Uh, the best scripted TV series, actually, 2023. And the winner is Savage Beauty! Congratulations, Savage Beauty. You guys come up stage. You can go from here, you can go from there, you can go from here. Congratulations, Savage Beauty. Yes, yes. Fantastic, Savage Beauty, beating Steve competition there. Congratulations, congratulations, absolutely fantastic. Congrats. I'll let you do the honors, I'll let you do the honors for giving them there. Congratulations. Congrats, guys. <laughs> congratulations. this at all but we will be taking it to the producers yes. we need to show them that we are taking this home yes. um thank you to everybody that voted also because that's very important yes. thank you to everybody that's watched season two is coming next year baby yes thank you so much thank you Fantastic, worthy winner, Savage Beauty there. Give it up for Savage Beauty again, please. Come on, come on, worthy winners. Congratulations to Savage Beauty. Next up, we have the best non-scripted TV series. Now, this category is no joke. It's packed with amazing talent and creativity. That's right. Yeah, these shows have taken us on an emotional roller coaster, making us laugh, cry, and question our very existence. <laughs> And sometimes they've even made us forget what day it is. Sure. Uh, what day is it today? Yeah? I have no idea. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, but that's the beauty of great TV. Uh, it transports us to different worlds and lets us escape the reality of our day-to-day -day world. Absolutely. So without further ado, the nominees for Best Non-Scripted TV Series are... The nominees for... Best non-scripted TV series 2023 are okay. The Mummy Club. What else did you guys discuss? Love and Hip Hop South Africa. You know we're not supposed to be sitting here together. What? We're enemies right now. I'm not having it anymore. So if you decide to come to me, I'm. Look for look. The Taste you Master, this South Africa. I can't wait to get in the kitchen and bake. I want this really badly. Let's do it. This is not working. Oh, tell me what to do because it's... Living the dream with Sonizi. Toast to life. Thank God for family. Young, famous, and African. It hasn't been resolved before we walk into that room. We are going to blow up. The Real Housewives of Johannesburg. Because now when I see you, I see someone who's like... Okay, what a competitive category. Okay, right. The winner for the best non-scripted TV series 2023 is... I feel like I need a drum roll. Is the Real Housewives of Johannesburg! Real Housewives of Johannesburg, congratulations. Come on, guys. 
Congrats. Real house has to back. You can come on this side. You can come on that side. That's all good. All good. All good. Congratulations to the Real Housewives of Joburg. Amazing. Let's see who makes it to stage first. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> there you go, guys. There you go. There you go. There you go. Congratulations. Podium is yours. Podium is yours, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Every time I speak, people say I preach. But I read somewhere that one who's filled with joy preaches without preaching. I'm so filled with joy right now. You don't even understand. 2013, I tried to bring Real Housewives into Africa. Nobody would hear me. Nobody would understand me. No channel was ready. No cast member was ready. I tried again. Oh, I know. I know. I tried again in 2017, and I was asked, who are these women? Are they interested? Are they interesting? And who are they? So I decided to put them on profile. I'm not talking an audition behind a gray, gray wall. I'm talking I decided to audition them. Reality profile diary style. So we auditioned them, we got our first season, we got a second season, our third season was a bit of a disaster, but we were given a third chance, and we are here today. Ah! <laughs> Guys, you don't understand, I brought Alpha. Alpha is my editor. Alpha and I, didn't know how to produce and edit a Real Housewives franchise because we were the first. We had a manual, but we didn't know how to do it. We watched Atlanta, we watched New York, we watched Orange County, but we didn't know how to do it. So, so we had to teach ourselves that there's a chapter card. We had to teach ourselves that there's five segments. We had to teach ourselves that between the five segments, how many minutes and who does what and who owns a scene. Alpha, when we were editing this season, his wife was pregnant and they had a child who was sick, but he was there every day. Every day. Because I didn't have a director, I didn't have support, I didn't have anything. I had had surgery and I was there every day. I was walking around with a portable, with a portable dialysis machine, just so I can go and edit this show for you all. This is amazing. Okay, congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Congrat this way, guys. Fantastic, fantastic. The real housewives of Joba. Congratulations. Amazing. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Okay, wow, what a dress. Jesus Christ. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations, to congratulations the crew guys. And Welcome back to the National Film and TV Awards, uh, broadcasting live on Vivix TV and YouTube. Uh, wherever you're watching, uh, make sure you drop us a comment and repeat, keep it PC, because I've got my I've got I've got kids watching out there. You know, I've got you know, Jordan Jr. somewhere watching, right? So keep it PC, just keep it real, okay? All right. Okay, now we are celebrating the powerful networks, the TV networks that keep us watching uh, and watching and watching. That's right, Jordan. These networks have been our lifeline to entertainment, offering us endless binge-worthy content 
and unforgettable moments. And let's not forget those nights when we stayed up way too late saying, uh, just one more episode, please. One more episode. Or, or sometimes just one more season. That is true. That is true. But tonight, we are here to crown the best television slash streaming network, 2003. Uh, these are the platforms that kept us glued day after day and month after month. Absolutely. And the nominees are... <laughs> Nominees for Best Television or Streaming Network, Netflix. ETV. Mnet. SABC2 S3 Showmax Net. Mzansi Magic. BET. One Magic. SABC One. Network slash TV network, and the winner is Netflix. Congratulations to Netflix. Um, they couldn't be here today. We just got sent an information. I think they, they, they're busy counting their subscribers, how much money they're making the subscribing. So we are going to give them personally uh, when we get to when we get to the office tomorrow. We're going to give them personally on Monday, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, from powerful networks to outstanding performances. Absolutely, Sadie. Uh, you know, I can't help but be amazed by the incredible uh, performances I've seen all through the year on TV. I mean, these actors are so good, they can make crying a uh, national sport. That's true. <laughs> and let's not forget the transformative power of makeup, costume, and dedication that goes into each role. And I've got to say, the talent in the outstanding performance category is so good they could turn a library into a comedy club. Library into a comedy club. You, you got to wear words, you know, Sish. So you should, you should, you could make Shakespeare into like a, a comedy routine, man. You got to wear words, I ain't gonna lie. Our next well, category. Jordan, that's a plan for our next gig. Our next but gig. for now, let's not keep our audience waiting any longer. I agree with you. Let's not keep them waiting any longer. Our next category is the outstanding performance. And to present this category is a managing director of Cheeky Media, dynamic award-winning production company. Cheeky Media produces the popular TV show Real Talk with a Zania, The Man Cave, The Morning Show, and Winging It, and a self-proclaimed disruptor, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the outstanding performance category. Please give it up for Yusuf Stevens. Hello. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what an honor it is to be here tonight at the National Film and TV Awards South Africa. It's an art of pure magic, isn't it? I've had the privilege of witnessing some incredible performances in my career, but tonight we are to celebrate the outstanding performances of the year. These actors and actresses have poured their hearts and souls into their roles, taking us on an emotional journey we'll never forget. You see, 
when an act truly embodies a character, when they make us laugh, cry, or even question our own beliefs, that's when they've achieved something truly remarkable. Now, let's not keep you any wait waiting any longer. The nominees for Outstanding Performances are... The nominees for Outstanding Performance 2023 are... Zikon Sodzaka, The Wife. After your game, Nomzamo Mbata, assassin. The police couldn't get close. Yeah, his sister killed him. Her finger. And I know him. Jacques, the silver, the, club the umbrella man. Taxes. What? It's the Guma. It's on TV. It's the minstrels. All down the drain. Thank you. Ante Mbali Mlofa, homewrecker. What happened to um, all of us uh, having lunch together? Oh, baby. Gail Mabalani, unseen. Tolufele Machaba, the river. Arno Fosli, Silverton Siege. Abdul Koza, the wife. Connie Ferguson, Kings of Joburg. Somla Dandala, justice served. Bobby's mother, Zoli's mother and brother, they have skipped. And the award goes to Connie Ferguson. clearly a tough category. Everybody that was shown on the screen as a nominee is a winner in my eyes. I mean, all those performances were outstanding. So I'd like to dedicate this award to everyone that was nominated in this category. I think you all deserve to win. To my KOJ team, thank you so much for the support. Um, th this show is incredible. Yeah, you guys know where we came from with this show. I'd like to dedicate this award to Mr. Show as well, Shona Ferguson, who created Kings of Joburg. I think he would be super proud of all of us today. So for the honor, thank you very much for everybody who has voted for me to get this. Love and appreciate you. Thank you for supporting our shows. Thank you. Congratulations, Connie Ferguson. Come on, give it up for Connie Ferguson. Oh, amazing, amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the National Film and TV Awards South Africa, broadcasting live on Vuvix TV and YouTube. We are right here at the Opera Theatre in Pretoria. And we're loving it, loving That's it. That's right, Jordan. And now it's time for one of the most prestigious awards of the night. Best Actress. My favorite category, indeed. Uh, Sally, the, these talented women have brought uh, to life unforgettable characters, captivating us with their performances. Their dedication, talent, and ability to make us believe in the world's inhabit are truly inspiring. Love that. The nominees for Best Actress 2023 are... 
The nominees for Best Actress 2023 are Candice <sighs> Medicellia, love. love, Sex, and Betty Candice. I don't know if it makes sense for us to still get married. If the love isn't mutual, then you love and the Mbali Mlocha, homemaker. What happened to um, all of us uh, having lunch together? Oh, Not all of Zamin, Silverton Siege. Shannon Ezra, do your worst. To me, Yake Ngumla, you're my favorite place. And you manage his level sleep for me. I will make something of myself. Not all of Damien, in number number, Josie Gold. I don't know if I can't give a cold. I don't know. Tuso Mbedu, the woman king. Hajal exactly Bagwandi, the honeymoon. Oh, wow. What a competitive category. What a competitive. Backstage is looking like a party. It's literally, they should put a DJ on there. It's amazing. And the winner for the best actress 2023 is Candice Modicelle. Candice Modicelle, ladies and gentlemen. Candice, congratulations. Winner for the best actress 2023. Hard work, dedication. A wonderful choice, should I say? Congratulations. Congrats, 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 congrats. Congrats. All deserved. All deserved. All deserved. Congratulations to you, Candice. Just, just hold it stronger. Hold it stronger. Put Well, there you go. There you go. Congrats. That's my mom. That's my mom. Shout out to my mom. Um, I'm not gonna make this moment about me. I'm redirecting the glory to Jesus. <laughs> my Lord and Savior, without whom none of what I do would be valid or possible. And I just wanna take a moment to pray for our industry. I haven't seen that happen, and I haven't seen that happen in a while, so if we could all bow our heads, my please hold us. Oh. Um, I have to allow the Holy Spirit to do this. I'm so nervous. Father, we thank you for this industry and for everyone under the sound of my voice. What we do is not a small feat. It takes a lot of heart, a lot of wisdom, a lot of courage. A lot of people may not understand the weight of who we are and what we're called to do. So I pray that our industry receives a fresh injection of your Holy Spirit. For where there's every point of discouragement that we may have, Father God, that you lift us up. And my particular prayer for everyone under the sound of my voice and our industry at large, Father God, is that you meet us at our point of need. Every single person here has a unique need, Lord. And I pray, Father God, that you meet them there, that your strength is made perfect in our weakness. I plead the blood of Jesus over every single person here. And I pray that through your faithfulness, through your grace and your mercy, that all things will be made possible. Our industry is going to newer, stronger and greater heights. And what we do is our ministry. So we hand it over back to you. In your precious, mighty, in your precious, mighty and matchless name we pray. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Glory to Jesus. Uh, most of you know me as an entertainer, but today I stand before you as a new creation in Christ. God bless you all. Thank you to the National Film and Television Awards. I really do appreciate it. I honestly 
didn't feel like I deserved it, but God surely knew that this platform is a pulpit, so I made it so. Um, and I really, I bless every single person in the category. My best friends are in this category, my literal best friends. Noxie, I'm proud of you, I love you. Uh, I look up to Shannon Ezra, I look up to every single person in the category, but I'm so grateful, I've said a lot, uh, but I feel like the Holy Spirit will say more in the next coming years. Uh, and I hand this, this award to my family. Uh, thank you, Mom. Uh, you've validated my crazy. <laughs> you gave me space to be who I am. To amazing sisters who are not here, Buntleli Rifilwe, my brother-in-law. Ricardo, pretty ugly, support his music. Shara uh, Shara one time. And to my amazing industry, we're all here and um, we're so deserving. So thank you once again uh, and God bless you all. Travel safely. And may the Holy Spirit be with you always and in always. I love you, Sneezy. Oh, 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 and a, and a, and a big shout out. Please let uh, little man over there, Ika Yang, Ramutla, please stand up. One of the greatest cinematographers you'll ever know. I'm always handing the baton over to young people. I feel like I've done some of my best work thus far, and I know that my best is coming from the next generation. It's not about me, it's about the next. So let's please hand over the baton to those who deserve it. God bless you all, and pay people their worth. Thank you. No more tight budgets, amen. <laughs> Amazing, congratulations, congratulations. Congratulations, Candies. Uh, your incredible performance has left us, uh, an incredible talent actually has left us all in awe. Uh, you are a shining example uh, for the impact of storytelling and outstanding performances um, can have on all of us. You've given us performances that are not only unforgettable, but also thought-provoking and emotionally charged. Now, we move seamlessly from the category of Best Actress to Best Actor. Indeed, Jordan, and to present this category is a South African actress who plays Viela on SABC One show Uzalo and Lindiwe on Juagali. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for... The amazing Tapsi Zikali. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the National Film and TV Awards South Africa. What a night it has been, and I'm so excited to be here tonight as one of the first NFTAs in South Africa. Now, acting isn't just about reciting lines, but it's about embodying a character, breathing life into stories, and of course, connecting with your audience. Tonight, we gather to celebrate the incredible talent in the world of acting. The nominees in the Best Actor category have given us performances that are out of this world. So, without further ado, let us shine a spotlight on these exceptional nominees. The nominees for Best Actor 2023 are... The nominees for Best Actor 2023, sponsored by Deja Vel, are uh, Main Max, Homewrecker. Jefferson Chabalala, Big Nunu's Little Heist. <laughs> Stumo Mchali, Inamba Namba, Josie Gold. Tabo Rameti, Silverton Siege. Move, Hari. I can show you where the vault is. This isn't a bank robbery. What's your name? Christine. Is there a bank? Mutusi Mahano. Wild is the wind. I didn't kill him. At the end of the week, we'll vote. Stefan Erasmus, Silverton Siege. Terra hasn't killed anyone yet. <laughs> 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 Armin Olkamp, Mensa van die Ven. <laughs> Presley Chenyahai, Inamba Namba, Josie Gold. And 
the winner is Name Apps! Congratulations, Maps. We'll give this to you in person. Thank you. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay. All right, welcome back to the National Film and Television Awards, guys. Um, we are still here li broadcasting live on Vuvix TV and YouTube. The backstage is looking like a party.com. Don't know what they're on. It's really going down. I want one they on. They, this is next level. Right. We are here to present the next category. But before we present the next category, well, we need to welcome who's presenting that category. It's the best newcomer category, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with more excitement. But before we dive into the next award, can we just say how incredible Tabsi Lizikali was? She was incredible, and she looked incredible as well. Come on, guys, did she look incredible? Come on, you gotta give it up. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta have people, give people a pat on the back, you know? Definitely. Now, let's move on to the best newcomer category, sponsored by Krispy Kreme. This award is all about recognizing fresh faces and emerging talents in the industry. That's why, right, Sally. And to present this category, uh, please welcome Zelda Flovu from Crispy Creme. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Krispy Kreme is delighted to be one of the official sponsors for the sweet celebration. I'm here to present the Best Newcomer Award, and the nominees are... The nominees for Best Newcomer 2023, sponsored by Krispy Kreme, are... Khaesang K. Noche, Six in the City. Should I book you guys a room? <coughs> Ama Kamata, Blood and Water. Nina Hasty, Comedian. Hi, like... guys! It's us! Kosi oh, Ngema, Blood and Water. I really need you to come through on that. Just you and me. Lies. Linda Majola, the wife. Oh, God, mom. Sikelo Butelezi, clever ish. Rosemary Zimu, nine. Don't do that. I'm a cry. I don't want to cry. Um, I've been in this industry since 2015. 
This is the first international film that I actually really shot. I went to shoot this movie in Ghana. It was my first time in Ghana, but I had an amazing time. I want to say thank you to the producer, Angela. She's all the way from the States. I want to say thank you to my co-stars, Chris Atto, Chastity, literally everybody from around the globe. I want to say thank you to my family. This is my baby brother, this is Tamba. <laughs> yes. Stop it, ladies. Stop it. Stop it. Cover your eyes, ladies. Cover your eyes. <laughs> I want to say thank you to the NFTAs also for the recognition. And to my crew, thank you to my crew. <laughs> and to everybody that voted, God bless you. I love you so much. And please, Remember to be kind to yourselves so you can be kind to those around you. Thank you. Congratulations, Rosemary. And uh, yeah, congratulations. Con congratulations to Rosemary. Come on, guys. Congratulations. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you know when people do the work, they put the hard work in, you gotta congratulate them. And to our sponsors, Crispy Creme. Crispy Creme as well, congratulations. Yeah. Um, Jordan, this is South Africa. We don't say Crispy Creme, we say Crispy Creme. Oh, no, mais c'est français. C'est quoi, c'est français, c'est crème. Crème en français, c'est crème. Mais j'ai pas français aussi. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Je m'appelle Lissédi, j'habite à Afrique du Sud. Jeez, oh, okay, no, 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 you know what, enough about, in, 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 didn't a French play uh, South Africa recently in rugby, didn't that happen? They actually did, let me yeah? just say, this would not be the best time for you to be applying for a French visa, after right. what happened. Right, right, okay, look, if we're this way, no more bonjours and bonsoir, we're going on to the next category, which is the best actress in a TV series, and presenting this category is not a French actor, he's actually a renowned South African actor. He's best known for his starring role as Quenzo in the Mzansiwe to Telenova, Spongile, and the Tlaminis. And everyone remembers his first credited television role as Officer Mbele in the ETV soapies, Durban Jen. Definitely. He played the role of uh, Milailo and at the One Magic series, The Reaver. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vuyo Biela. Biela. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, tonight we come together to honor the incredible talent on this world air television, specifically the outstanding performances in TV series. Now, what I refer to acting in a, t in a TV series is a unique art form, eh? It requires dedication, consistency, and the ability to bring a character into life through an extended period. So, let's shine a spotlight on the exceptional actresses in this category. So, the nominees for Best Actresses in a TV series are... The nominees for Best Actress in a TV Series 2023 are Komoto Christopher, Legacy. Quite frankly, going to jail is worth it if it means I get to see the mighty prize fact. Tulofelo Machaba, The River. Michelle Buertes, Legacy. It's justice. It's justice. All right. Elizabeth Sirumi, Scheme Sound. Cabonina Kubega, Shaka Ilemo. Cindy Swanapu, Binnenland. 
Zikona Sodzaka, the wife. Rosemary Zimu, Savage Beauty. Tando Tabete, Housekeeper, Season 3. Gail Mabalan, Unseen. He was supposed to be released today at 5 o'clock. I got here just after 5. He was released this morning. Connie Ferguson, Kings of Joburg. Get away from everything in this family. Yeah, the moments we all have been waiting for. So, ladies and gentlemen, the best actress in a TV series goes to Zikona Sotara! Ladies and gentlemen, our best actress in a TV series 2023. And that's on period. <laughs> to the absolutely amazing, tedious work that we do every single day for the playlists we create for the characters we play, for the sleepless nights deciding what hair she wears, fighting with the makeup artist because her eyebrow is a little bit higher than we think, fighting with the wardrobe department because you don't want to wear Spanx, because maybe she has a little bit of a belly, fighting with the director because you want to use a certain dialect in Kosa. Sharing sets with people who respect it a little bit less than you do. Small pay. Selling hundreds and millions worth of money to somebody, but not you. To being a cash cow for 18 years. It's a beautiful thing to be a performing artist, we know that. I just want to say, please don't stop creating those playlists for the characters you play. Don't stop sleeping late. Don't stop trying to understand your co-star even though maybe they don't understand you. Don't stop reading those incredible scripts. Continue making art sexy so that every other industry can be created because of art. May art stay eclectic, may art stay beautiful, may we not stop. And congratulations to the people that laid a foundation for us a hundred years before we started. This is for all the actors that don't get recognition. And all the ones that do. And for the platforms that the people work very hard to create so that everyone can be seen and heard. And that's on period.
Congratulations. Congratulations. What an amazing, amazing talent. And congrats to all the nominees in that category. That's right. Now, from Best Actress in a TV Series to Best Actor in a TV Series, the nominees for the Best Actor in a TV Series are... The nominees for Best Actor in a TV Series 2023 are... Well, Dolisa Alova, Kings of Joburg. I killed my father's son. But I had no choice. Lawrence Maleka, The River. It's between I want you, you are what I want. I don't know. Irvin van der Merwe, Seid Wooster. It's complicated. I don't know. Jason Valamsa, Ubetina Wetu, Season 2. I'm Wendell Walters. Um... From New York, Robertina. Melusi Mbele, Scandal. Shona Ferguson, Kings of Jobo. No charges stuck until Melusi idiotically handed himself in. He went to prison. Wise man, Mnube, Shaka Ilembe. Robertina Mandwandu. Tabelo Mugwena, Fatal Seduction. Made it very clear that he trusts his driver. And he doesn't for one second believe that his driver... Grateful to you. Colin Moss, Unseen. I just accept the checks as they come in and try not to ask too many questions myself. Advice you should probably take as well. Craig Urbany. Makoti, season two. Your granny is, is, is panicked. She doesn't want me to take the call. What? Shomla Dandala, Justice Sir. I haven't been gagged, Judge. Harvey, Harvey's mother, Zoli's mother and brother, they have skin. Mpo, Mudikwani, Entangle. <laughs> Right. And the winner is Wise Man Mube. Oh, congratulations to Wise Man. Congratulations. Congratulations to Wise Man. Congratulations. Is he here? Is he not here? Oh, you're going to collect his behalf. Okay, fantastic. Congratulations to Wise Man. I'm not wise man, but he did ask me to take his award for him. He said I should thank his ancestors, I should thank God for the talent that he has. He said I should thank the people that voted for the love that they have given to him. He said I should thank everybody in the production, crew, and cast, and thank you guys also for wise man. Welcome back, everyone. Congratulations. Someone we said uh, it's not wise members, wise women. I heard that. Right. <laughs> we hope you're enjoying this fabulous evening as much as we are. Definitely, absolutely. See you. Look, um, it's time to shine the spotlight uh, on the talented actors uh, who provide a solid support. Uh, the ones who make our favorite stars shine even brighter. It's the best supporting actor category. That's right, Jordan. These actors are like the secret sauce in a delicious recipe. They enhance the flavor of the story and make it all the more unforgettable. That's why, and sometimes they've actually been known to literally take and steal the scene right from under the leading actor's uh, nose. But that's what makes their performances so special. Let's meet the incredible nominees. The nominees for Best Supporting Actor are... The nominees for... Best Supporting Actor 2023 are 
Tony Miambo. It ruins little heights. Tabo Rameti Amanda. Move, hurry. I could show you where the vault is. This isn't a bank robbery. What's your name? Christine. Is there a bank? Presley Trenyake. Inamba Namba Josie Go. Chris Chameleon. Wild is the wind. From now on, I'll always stick to the speed limit. Name Max, home wrecker. No Niza J, you're my favorite place. Arnold Fosmo, Silverton Siege. Showing the release of Mandela. Calvin Wade, your letter and a statement of release signed by the Prime Minister. Right. And the winner for the best supporting actor of 2023 is uh, Nisa J, your favorite place. Nisa J, favorite place, Nisa J. Is he here? Is he here? Right. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Nisa J, best supporting actor 2023. month it's pride month it's pride month it's pride month it's pride month Woo! Woo! okay okay thank you black gay jesus amen Woo! thank you to my ancestors or king or bele or zulu or donza thank you thank you to Yellowbone Entertainment. Thank you to Known Associates Entertainment. Thank you to my fellow cast members, Ukaiga Zikula, who's here. Awe Tushel, who's not here. Dumingumla, who's not here. This award goes to all the out and open queer actors in this industry. This is for Kaya Zaza. This is for Sisha Shona Mwazana. This is for Letabo Bereng. This is for Mushendiki. This is for all of us. We deserve a space in this industry. Yeah! Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Okay, right. Next up. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we are back to celebrate the best supporting actress category. That's right, Seti. These actresses are the pillars of strength uh, and emotion, providing the foundation of some of our favorite on-screen moments. Their performances have the power to elevate the entire production and leave a lasting impact on the audience. That's right. Without further ado, the nominees for the Best Supporting Actress 2023 are... The nominees for Best Supporting Actress 2023 are... Tusom Bedi, The Woman King. Latoya, Maken, Pumulo, Homewrecker. Can't wait to see you, love. See. Ah. Uh, yeah, wait to Kate, licorice. Do your worst. More than half. And I'm moving in with you. What? What about the kids? I need a break. Away to oh. Sharon, say you. You're my favorite place. Francis, Sholto, Douglas, Fatal Seduction. It's like a red flag central. Umi, Morake, The Honeymoon. Uh, is this like a suit thing or is this like a human thing? What? How my fans gonna... Nokolo, Damini, 
Inamba Namba, Josie Go. Mobile, Sipamla, Amanda. Kayakazi, Ula, you're my favorite place. Now, City, you got to announce the winners. Who is the winner for that category? And the award goes to Francis Sholto Douglas. Francis Sholto Douglas. Congratulations, congratulations. Congrats, congrats. Wow, uh, okay, I'm speechless. Um, <laughs> I had things that I would potentially say, they've all left my head because I really did not think I was going to win this at all. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> um, thank you to NFTA, thank you to everyone who voted, thank you to every cast member, every crew member, uh, every director, especially Johnny Babazano for being the most incredible director and bringing out the most amazing performances in all of his actors. Ngele Ramolondi for being the best scene partner in the world. Um, oh my gosh, I have stage fright for an actor, can you believe it? Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Congratulations to Francis. Your exceptional talent in the supporting role has left an indelible mark on the industry. I like the way you're walking and talking at the same time. Who says you can't walk, speak, talk at the same time? That's, that's amazing. Uh, look, um, conversation with Francis as well. Uh, amazing. Now, steady, steady, steady. Everyone talks about drama. Drama, drama, drama. And uh, you look, do you like a little bit of drama in your real life? Like, do you like a bit of drama? Never. No? You don't like drama? I mean, I love watching drama on the screen, but a girl needs her peace. That's right, you gotta relax sometimes, you gotta relax, that's true, <laughs> that is definitely true. Well, obviously, Jordan, you're from the UK, right. and London to be precise. London, yeah, representing London, yes, that's but true. But you live part-time here in South Africa. I do, I do, and I love it, I love South Africa, yes. So, what would you say was the most dramatic thing you've experienced here? Definitely, one word, load shedding, not gonna lie. <laughs> but not for the reasons you think, not for, not for the reasons you think, I'll tell you why. I tell you why, I tell you why. I've traveled across Africa. I've traveled across loads of places in Africa. I've uh, been to Cameroon. They've got a system there called Sunel. In Cameroon, when the lights want to go off, you get a mosquito come into your ear and go zzz, That means the lights are going off, right? And then in Nigeria, they have something called Nepal. And the lights, there's no system. Literally, the lights, you could be cooking a chicken and lights are off. That's it. But South Africa is special. You got an app. <laughs> literally, you guys don't even know. You got an app. The app literally tells you, right, yeah. that you know lights are gonna go up. So you know I've got a generator, so it's all right, so why? So when it when it goes up, all I like to do with the app is go to the comment section and watch the drama. If you've never done it, go to the it. go to the comment section of the Escom app. Love it. The drama is amazing. People, when I was about to kick my chicken, my chicken got burnt. Esh. That's what happens. True stories, true stories. Well, at least we have organized chaos. Definitely, but I like it. I yes. like it. <laughs> well, next up, we have the best TV drama series category. And presenting this category is a man who is no stranger to drama. That's right. He is an award-winning South African actor, presenter, writer, director, and producer. What does he do? He does it all. Born and bred in Fishhook, he has been gracing our television screens for the past 25 years, having made his television debut in Hotnot Schrede, and then appeared in various dramas, sitcoms, and soapies before landing the role of Chico Boysons in SABC 3's Istingo, one of his longest running characters, and also his favorite one. That's right, now presenting the best TV drama series, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Terence Bridget. Samborane Badubashle. Tonight, I'm here to help.
celebrate a medium that I've been working in for over 25 years. And I'm only turning 27 this year, so I don't know how that happened. Um, we're here to celebrate the finest in television storytelling, where captivating narratives come to life and where characters become a part, an indelible part of our lives. A TV series is more than just a collection of episodes. It's, it's a world unto itself. It's a place where actors, writers, directors, producers, and crews come together to create a kind of a symphony of storytelling. Like the late, great director, Harold Schoenwürfen, used to say, it's a mad dance that we do. And it is. It's exactly that. Now, here in Zanzi, we do good TV. We really, really do. It's a genre that has the power to provoke thought, to challenge norms, and to evoke raw, integral, and authentic emotion like only South Africans can give. A good drama series becomes part of our lives. And with that, the nominees for best TV drama series are. The nominees for Best TV Drama Series 2023, sponsored by Telephonos, are Adult Savage Beauty. You look right at home. We might be looking Kings at the of Joburg. Blood and water. I believe that she's been taken by a trafficking syndicate. The same syndicate that abducted me. Shaka Ilembe. Fatal seduction. It's Brenda. That you have. Unseen. We fight. We survive. Going somewhere? Just trying to find my husband. Congratulations to all our nominees. Now, this is quite special because we get to, as a producer, celebrate and pay tribute to the late great Shauna Ferguson, because the winner is Kings of Joburg. Um, I have no words, but thank you. Thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. This is an honor, again, of Shauna. When my husband created this show, um, when we need Samad come forward, when we met with Samad to cook, as we say, cook with grease, cook with grease like cooking this show, I don't think any of us had an idea of just what Kings of Joburg would become. 
But I think Cho's vision was so clear. The, he was always so excited about this. And I'm just so sad that he's not here to see the fruits of his labor. Um, I received this in his honor on behalf of our cast and crew. Thank you so much for working so hard on this project, for putting blood, sweat, and tears into what we know it's not, an, not always an easy project to do. Like, we hustle hard. The hustle has paid off. You guys should be very proud. I'm super proud of all of you. I say the show goes on. Yeah. The show goes on, baby. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations, congratulations. Congrats. Uh, thank you, Terrence. Thank you, congratulations. Uh, give it up for Kings of Joba. Congratulations. Right. Okay. Now, Jordan, let's talk about something truly important. What? Personality. How crucial is it to you? Oh, that's, uh, personality is everything. Personality is like the secret source of life, 100%, 100%. You can be the prettiest person in the world, but you've got a personality of a broken GPS, uh, you'll be constantly recalculating, but never quite getting us to the destination. That's what <laughs> I think, that's what I think personally. Absolutely, you know what I love most? What do you love? A person whose personality shines through with a good dose of humor. Yeah, but you can't, you can't just be with a clown. You can't, I can't I like have your laughing. Hair. I like clowns. All right, I all like right. laughing. I mean, like, if you want to go with clowns, go with clowns. Esh, but I can't be a clown. You've got you to have a little bit of balance. You got to, balance is the key to life. Do you know what I mean? No, you're right. Life is about balance. And a balanced personality is a perfect indicator of someone who has his or her head screwed on. I like what you did there. Now, our next category is a balance of both personalities, of people that have their head screwed on, and they are definitely onto big things. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees for this year's Best Male Personality 2023. <laughs> The nominees for Best Male TV Personality 2023 are Dateho, my boy, Tropica Island of Treasure, All Stars. Quentin Masina, aka Naked, young, famous, and African. Deleuze, Love and Hip Hop, South Africa. Swanky Jerry, Young, Famous and African. Somizi, Living the Dream with Somizi. Diamond Platinums, young, famous, and African. Shane Eagle, love and hip hop, South Africa. Andile Ngobe, young, famous, and African. I can't pursue Zari. I don't need to understand. I have to. To Baba, young, famous, and African. DJ Speedster, love and hip hop, South Africa. Right, it's a tough category. And the winner for best male personality 2023 is... Katejo Mabue. Come on, congratulations. Congrats. Congratulations, mate, congratulations. Equally nice suit, mate. <laughs> congrats, congrats, congrats. Um, um, I'd like to just begin by giving all the glory and the honor in this moment to God Almighty, without whom this would never be possible. 
um, and to thank um, the Academy for the nomination, for everybody who voted to make this moment possible. A big shout out to the production crew um, at Tropic Island of Treasure, of course, um, at Cordova, who worked tirelessly hour after hour to put the show together. Uh, it was an honor to be the host of the show and to just have another moment to shine a light on the great talent that we have all across our country. And I'd like to dedicate this award to anybody who's ever at any moment in time have felt that perhaps their light might have been extinguished. That as long as there's breath in your lungs and hope in your heart, that your story isn't finished. To my, my family, some of whom are here, and my friends who have supported me, have held my hand, have held my head high, kept me from drowning in the abyss. Thank you so much for keeping me there. And I'd like to leave you with these words that carried me throughout a very difficult time in my life. Hopefully that it might shine a light on someone else. Let's say, Thank you very much. Congratulations. And next up, we have the best female personality of 2022. That's correct. And the nominees for best female personality 2023 are... The nominees for Best Female TV Personality 2023 are Lebo Jojo Mokwena, The Real Housewives of Johannesburg. The magic happens in the kitchen in my house. The fact Zari Hassan, young, famous, it. and African. Let's see where it heads. Munurai Mudarikwa, the girl, mommy club. Literally, she says nothing wrong in this, and it scares me. Yeah, because you're the one that's for hosting us. William. Fifi Cooper, yeah, Love and, and Hip Hop South time, Africa. I spoke about and I wrote exactly, you know. Mbumi, Miss Pops, Mopatani, the mommy club. I love my body, and you know, no one can ever shake my self esteem because. Kaylee Schwartz, young, no famous, and African. It simply doesn't exist. I googled a trailer proposal. Made Happy, up. Her Majesty, Simelan, so the mommy club. think that she was actually with Tabo Besta and he was recording her and everything else. It's Annie Ntembu, the real housewives okay. of Durban. Because recently, you have had a drink. And now oh, I'm Annie, Macaulay, Idibia, Young Famous, and African. Since 2014, people want to believe. Gigi, Lemay, Love, <laughs> and Hip Hop, <laughs> South Africa. I am not going to back down and pretend like I don't want to win this award because I am going to cry. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ, it's like a party backstage. There's people are having a blast backstage. Oh, it's like, it's like, Jesus, like a beefer. The nominees and the winner, actually, the winner for the best female TV personality 2023 is, I want to be drumming right here, is uh, Zari Hassan, young, famous, and African. Zari Hassan. Zari Hassan, congratulations. Winner of this year's best female TV personality. Congratulations.
Amazing. For young, famous, and African. A TV series on Netflix. Also nominated for tonight's award as well. Zari Hassan, winner of Best Female TV Personality. Come on, give it up for Zari. Give it up for Zari Hassan. Congratulations. Winner of Best Female TV Personality. Congratulations. <laughs> there you go, that's yours. Congrats to you. There you go. Oh my God. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sitting so comfortably, and I was like, wow, it's a tight competition. The ladies are all great. It takes a lot of hard work to be on screen with no scripts and to drag each other in to end up here. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for winning. And to my people back home in Uganda, it's for us. Thank you. Good night. Uh, congratulations to Zari Hassan there. Give it up for Zari Hassan, people. Give it up for Zari Hassan. Congratulations, congratulations. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back uh, to the National Film and TV Awards. Broadcasting live on YouTube uh, and Vuvix TV. We are still live right here uh, from the Opera Theatre in Pretoria. Absolutely. Absolutely, Jordan. And now it's time to get into some serious business the best supporting actor in a TV series. That's right, these actors are like the secret ingredient uh, in a recipe, adding the extra flavor to our favorite shows. They are the pinch of spice that turns a bland dish into a gourmet meal. It's almost like some chopped chilies in a nice dish. I like that, it's like spice. Uh, you are making me hungry now, I'm not gonna lie. And <laughs> but don't forget, Jordan, you can't have too much spice. Definitely. Or the dish just might be inedible. That is true, that is true. That is seasoning, uh, seasoning, over seasoning needs to be too much. You need to have that balance on there. So we are going on to the best supporting actor in a TV series. Uh, it's best supporting actor in a TV series. And the nominees are... The nominees for best supporting actor in a TV series 2023 are... Ayanda Daweti Gomora. Abdul Koza, the wife. Morne Fissa, justice served. I was ordered to do it. I had no choice. Everyone has a choice. Takeho, the Tulonian, Skin Sam, Gerald Stain, Ben and Landers, Mutusi Mahano, Blood Psalms. Kaya, Ntembu, Gomorra. Wanda, Zuma, House of Sweden. And if you feel like she said right now, have you thought about how I'm feeling as the father of the child who I don't even... Linda, Majola, the wife. We lag, we lag. Oh, God, Sebo, Mom. Who's open to cool men to attack? Oh, Our next category is the best supporting actress in a TV series. And to present this category is one of South Africa's most conspicuous entertainers with the ability of adaptability. Please give us two seconds. Right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. 
backstage, everyone is on Pepsi. I'm not going to lie. They, they are having the best time of their lives. I think, I think it's the rugby. It's definitely the rugby. Uh, they, they are half into, I said, the, people love rugby in South Africa. I'm not going to lie. Everyone is like, but what's, what's the match? What's the results of the rugby? I'm like, guys, focus, focus. Just for one day, let's just calm down the rugby. So the winner for the best supporting actor in a TV series is Abdul Koza. Even rugby can't get in the way of Abdul. Come on. It's what I like to hear. Where's Abdul? Where's Abdul Koza? Is Abdul here? Is Abdul here? Abdul Koza, winner of Best Supporting Actor in a TV series. Where is he? Where's Abdul? I told you, even Abdul is watching rugby. <laughs> Where's Abdul? There you go. <laughs> Abdul, you gotta be honest. Abdul, were well, you busy doing rugby? You're yeah, watching rugby. Um, they say when nature calls. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. San Bonani, Ninjani. Oh, eh. The challenge of being a Rakulu, we need to know how in my career from the beginning till today. Um, you know, it's a bittersweet moment. I wasn't sure to even come for the awards or not, Ngoba. To be honest with you, it's been almost two years of not working as an actor. But for this, I do say thank you. And I do appreciate that you guys do recognize my work. And I do still hope to have more opportunities to actually do what I love, which is acting. Thank you. Congratulations, okay. Right. Okay, now our next category is the Best Supporting Actress in a TV Series. And to present this category is one of South Africa's most conspicuous entertainers with the ability of adaptability. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Shane Wellington. In the house. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here with you tonight at the National Film and TV Awards South Africa. We're here tonight, oh yeah. <laughs> we are here tonight to pay tribute to the exceptional and incredible talent in the world of television, particularly the remarkable actresses who bring depth and authenticity to their roles. Supporting actresses, play a pivotal role in enriching the stories that we cherish. They provide the canvas on which the lead actors paint their masterpieces. These actresses add layers of complexity to their characters, making us empathize, laugh, and cry. And the nominees for Best Supporting Actress in a TV series are... The nominees for Best Supporting Actress in a TV Series 2023 are Kaisan K. Noche, the wife. You want to bully a woman? I suggest you choose your victim wisely. Mpati Moshesh, Savage Beauty. Steals father's wife, bloody circus. Ubaba. Brenda Mokwevo, House of Zwide. Like, why would you phone a family? Only because I killed her. 
Ama Hamata, blood and water. Nomzamo Mbata, Shaka Ilembe. Shamein Mtinda, Makoti. Sipesife Ndaba, Gomora. Okay, Shaka. Nicole, home. Don't get a boss. They've been entombed. Like little Pharaoh. Odell, the bit. Benelandis. I bleed drag. Um, it ain't a way you're going to handsome. Yeah, good. Delhi, Malinga. Redemption. You don't want to be useless. You don't want to be useless. And the winner is Delhi Malinga Redemption. Hi everyone, I'm shattered, I don't know what to say, yo I'm shaking, I'd like to, th to thank all the organizers of the NFTA and I'd like to thank uh, the producers of the production, Redemption, Bent Onion and Siridi, all the way from Umlazi. I never thought something like this would happen to me. I'd like to thank my township where I come from, all the love and support that I got from all of you guys out there at home. Thank you. To my son, to my son, the one and only, who supported me throughout my acting career when other kids were having fun and getting everything, and he had to suffer for me to be where I am today. Thank you so much, South Africa. Thank you so much for the recognition internationally. Thank you. Congratulations. OK, city. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to celebrate the faces that brighten our screens the voices that guide us through stories, and the personalities who make our days a little bit brighter. That's why TV presenters are the ones who keep us informed, entertained, and engaged. They have the power to connect with us like no other. Well, presenting this category is a personality who is no stranger to the world of presenting. He's best known as the Black Chinese Guy, and he's an established South African media personality, songwriter, music producer, and creative director who has been dominating the airwaves for over a decade now. That's why his voice and experience in the field are among the many reasons he's managed to work with the country's biggest media brands. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for William Lehong. All right, a very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Are you enjoying the show so far? Make some noise if you are. A huge congratulations to all those who are nominated this evening. And of course, if you have won tonight, congratulations to you. Let's make some noise for all the winners. Now, in the world of TV, you would know this, right? There, if you can imagine a conductor conducting a symphony that's what we're about to present next. A great presenter is able to take us and guide us through uh, the stories, the events, and of course, 
all the important emotions that come along with that. These guys, myself included, are the only people in TV who are told, look into camera, right? Unlike the actors where you are told, ignore the cameras, TV presenters are told to look into cameras. And in instances like tonight where there isn't a teleprompter or audio cue, you have to learn your lines and know them. These are the nominees for Best TV Presenter 2023. Let's watch. The nominees for Best TV Presenter 2023 are... With some so of the clouds that you genuinely, what's your take on what should happen and how do you feel about such, such things? You see that the Anele genius of the powers are sometimes quite inspired in the interpretations, so you really have to stretch your imagination <laughs> when you <laughs> think you know. Mini Jamin. The dream to be able to show on one of the biggest platforms in the world and one of the biggest stages on the world, it's an absolute honor. And to get to walk that. Nico and right, well, Aguil. The stage has been set for an epic battle. Each of you has a score to settle, either with. Lerato, so, Kanyako. In this marriage, <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think you have problems? <laughs> Katejo, Maboe. Taking their shot at a quarter of a million rand tonight. Azar. You Lawrence Malika are the 11th housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother house. You have 30 seconds to say goodbye and leave the Big Brother. Hey, those guys the Musupi. Okay, cool. Lil Wayne, you know which acronym did Drake and Lil Wayne popularize with this song? Well, well, Emo Adams. Um, <laughs> McFarlane, Mulay. This week, but traffic and backlogs of transport trucks started clearing. The news of lockdown lifting did little to change the. And the winner is. Make some noise for Katlejo Mabo! Wow. Um, words fail me at this moment. I, I just said to uh, Mr. Lehong Kore, he might as well have taken that award after that introduction. I mean, he did exactly what uh, this business is all about and what we do. Um, but I'd like to say a big thank you um, to everyone at Deal or No Deal. Um, it's such a labor of love to be able to uh, spend 30 minutes with South Africans every night and give them the opportunity to talk about their dreams and have a community of people who validate their dreams and support them and want to see them rise to their very, very best. And at the end of that, with a little bit of a cash deal at the end of that as well. A big uh, thank you to Prime Media um, and everyone at Homebrew um, who just make it possible for us to produce this show. It really is a great, great honor. I can't say more than that. And um, yeah, here's to more episodes of Deal or No Deal, more seasons. Here's to making dreams come true. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the best comedian category. That's why I said he laughter is the best medicine. And these comedians are the doctors of making you laugh out loud. Their wit, humor, and impeccable timing make us forget our worries and just enjoy the moment. They're the ones who can turn the most awkward situations into a laughing marathon. And tonight, we honor the one who made us laugh the hardest in 2023. And the nominees for Best Comedian 2023 are... The nominees for Best Comedian 2023 are... Hey, David Gao. Then they throw the bones and they spread all over. And then they start analyzing what they are seeing. But they tell you, oh yeah. Why is Loiso Gola. 
Like you people call each other all kinds of things, like without greeting. I am Wanka. This Celeste, no and my people said they're comparing with me. I'm like, Ibo, who's this? 65 to 70, Ibo. I'm 42. Tax. Oh, no. Gonzo. Yeah, when they fall on the school day, oh no! <laughs> June 16 was on a Wednesday. I was like, oh, why? They're the most Barry optimistic people Hilton. in the whole world. For the names they give their kids. What's your name, bro? Last one. Mark, Only lottery. they like your voice, do they drink a knoppy, and slowly the red leather chair turns. Talented con... Because Ooh, I'm going to tell her that I'm not my size, then you get your size, Obumakan. <laughs> Don't tell me your size if you can't handle all of this <laughs> Hello? So I know about Nick, the Rabina My dad died of a heart attack. I'm on uh, the blood thinners. But doctor, can you tell me, does that mean I won't die of a heart attack, but I might die from... You're Deep right to fried have man. Bride. Just don't call it, don't call it Friday. You don't know what this action mm -pop, is. Pops. This is the art of softening the yellow pages. This is the art of telling a yellow page. I still want to go to KFC Musa. on the Cape Flats. <laughs> Welcome to KFC. Can I take your aura, please? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Best comedy, my favorite category. And the winner for Best Comedian uh, 2023 is Celeste Ntuli. Congratulations, Celeste. Congrats. Congratulations. Best Comedian 2023, deservedly. Conga's wonderful dress, by the way. There you go. Congratulations. God bless you. Congratulations. Oh. I... <laughs> oh, my God. Hi. I'm so happy. And my agent just said, did you prepare a speech? I'm like, oh, what speech? Um, I remember when I started comedy. I'm joking. <laughs> All of you are like, what? We're tired of long speeches. Thank you so much. Thank you to my mom, obviously, my ancestors, my agent, ACA Africa Creative Agency, Yvette and Colin, and my sister, who always make me look good. Ah, thank you to my sister and my family, and this goes to my family, and of course, my father was passed on, whom I've taken his humor. So thank you so much. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you, South Africa, for supporting me. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, from laughter to competition, we're taking you on a roller coaster of emotions tonight. That's right. Uh, from the world of comedy, we dive right into the world of competition. But before we dive into this next category, uh, Sadie, a little birdie told me backstage, backstage where it's just hype, it's crazy, it's party there. They said uh, you've been, you've competed for Miss South Africa before in the past. Is that is that true? How was that experience for you? Um, the experience was quite wholesome. You know, it's just a group of beautiful women yeah. chasing after the same crown. All right, all of right. course, you oh, won, it's like one big family. Oh, right. No, yeah, no, I believe you. I believe, no catfights. No catfights. Not Nothing like one. that. Okay, no, I believe it's true, it's true, it's true. Um, so not one single catfight, no? Not a single catfight, just wow. one big happy family. Okay, well, the challenge, con uh, contestants, competition and challenges are a big thing. They push people to your limits and sometimes even bring out the best in them. And let's not forget the drama, the suspense, and the nail-biting moments that keep us on the edge of our seats. That's true. Now, the nominations for Best Competition Show 2023 are... The nominees for Best Competition Show 2023 are... Hey! Celebrity Game Night. Kokkadoe, vier en vlaam. Wat natuurlijk interessant is hier zo, is ons werken met gewone steekhouse steeks. 
Wie wordt een miljonair? Dit zit Afrika zijn voormalige eerste minister Jan Smits niet behaald. Is dit? Kopestam. No. Met vastpraat spelletjes, TV Skyrechter uitdagings, commentator pogens, waar ze bal voorspellings is een nauw bij. Nooit voor nooit. The Mask Sina, South Africa. That is Lucia Group. That clue helped me nothing. I am frustrated. Survivor, South Africa. Return of the Outcast. Are you ready for the comeback? Last. Now, it's Idols, South Africa. Be a part of the celebration and make history with us. Yes! You are a superstar. So, Usain. The ultimate prime master. It's the unrelenting elements. Fashion food from fire. There's no way to hide it. You deal or no deal, South Africa. They have the blessings. Open it up. Thank you. Five thousand. Okay, uh, now the winner for the best competition show 2023 is Survivor South Africa. Survivor South Africa, return of the outcast. Survivor South Africa. Anyone here to pick up for South, Af South Africa, Survivor? Anyone here to pick up for that? Yes, yeah, someone is coming. Okay, someone is coming, yes. Congratulations, Survivor. Watched it in the UK, watched it in the US as well. Watched it here in South Africa, an amazing show. Made a company show. Congratulations to you, mate. Congratulations. So for context, I was one of the castaways or uh, contestants on the show. So effectively, I am here to accept this award on behalf of those who actually deserve it. So my thanks and um, congratulations will be going to those who earned it. So starting at the top, uh, to Henry, LaRue, um, Darren, the executive producers from Afrikaans, um, to the Afrikaans family, all the production who worked on it, Trudy, thank you and congratulations, it is well deserved. Uh, to my fellow castaways, adversaries turned um, lifelong friends, thank you and congratulations, you absolutely left it all out there. Uh, what's the show without a network? Thank you to Mnet for being the home of Survivor for so many years. Um, to our beloved production consultants, Shannon and Mark, as you've always said, when not if, um, thank you. And I think having had a peek behind the curtain, I'm just some dude who's been on a reality TV show. This isn't my industry. Uh, this is all very new to me and I've just had a bit of a peek behind the curtain. I've listened to some of the speeches tonight and I've truly begun to understand the value of an evening like tonight. So thank you to the NFTA for doing what you do to appreciate and acknowledge those who truly deserve it, which is everybody sitting here tonight. So thank you to all, to all of you for doing what you guys do. And uh, thank you again. Cool. Fantastic. Give it up for Survivor. Fantastic. All right. Now we are down to our first performance of the evening. She is a fellow actress who has embraced music in a major way. She has featured in various TV shows, gaining prominence for her role as the 16-year-old schoolgirl Mampo in the ETAV soap opera Rhythm City, as well as portraying Zaza in the second season of Ubeti Nawetu. That's why last year in August 2022, she proudly unveiled a six-track EP uh, called Sponono, uh, featuring collaborations with some of South Africa's most notable artists. She partnered with Maiton, Haifam Kim, Sheriff RSA, Zanda Zakuza, and the talented Mr. Brown. That's right. Performing live here at the National Film and Television Awards South Africa. Please give it up for Okashi! Okashi, ladies and gentlemen.
Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Okashi again. Okashi, absolutely fantastic performance. Right, so our next category right now is the best action in a film or series. And the nominees are... The nominees for best action in a film or series 2023 are... Big Nunu's Little Heist. 
for six million. Yeah! Assassins. Who you are. I can't let him kill her. It's time to come home. Clean him up! You Justice sir. You will choose freedom or death. The River. More twists. More deception. And more stars that are drama. Don't touch me, man. Expect. So this Wild is, is the wind. Into a departmental store. Once put a timeline be a Macau set. Find this is last year. The Kings of Joburg. King of Joburg. In number number, Josie Gold. Gold. So you can infiltrate this game. Yeah, so twenty number. Redemption. No, 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 no. You have a right. Okay, just anything you say. Gomorrah. Portrait. We are not going to get it now. Dandy again, let go sold. Utah Prince has a way. Okay, and the winner of the best action in a film or TV series is Justice Served. Justice Served, ladies and gentlemen. Justice Served. Congratulations to Justice Served. Winner of best action in a film slash TV series, Justice Served. Congratulations. Congratulations. Justice Served. Congratulations, come and give it up, give it up. Congratulations, justice served. All right. Long walk. I wish all the actors were here, but probably watching the rugby. <laughs> um, we want to say thank you to all the actors, the crew, the team. I'm with the production company, uh, Miraki Studios. We produce, we create, we wrote. So this is our first uh, production. We won three SAFTAs, and this is thank you to NFTA as well. Thank you to everyone who watched and voted for us. Thank you. No, congratulations to you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, right. Um, Look, Sid, you missed Okashi's performance. Can I see why? Because you were going to dress, change your dress, isn't it? And it's looking good. I'm not going to lie. It's looking good. <laughs> Thank uh, you. I, I can't see. I can't, I'm not blind. Right. Um, look, uh, you missed the performance, but you are a singer as well. You, are, you, are sing, you sing as well, didn't you? Yes. Actually, uh, I recently my, released my EP. It's called Aura. Aura, yes. You can yes. download it. It's available on Don't all worry, streaming I'm on it. platforms. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm on it. I will download it tomorrow. Don't worry about that. I will be downloading it tomorrow. Okay? What? Uh, I said I'll download it tomorrow. I That's can't believe you, Jordan. What? When we were at the restaurant, you told me you had already downloaded it. No, and that it's one of your favorite EPs. You, you know what it is? Yeah, I was just trying to check your memory. Because you know when you change your dress, sometimes your memory goes. I was wow. going to check. I do have your album. I do, your, your EP, sorry. <laughs> but you know what? Forget about that. Give me one line in your EP there. Just give me one of your favorite songs. Don't say all of me your favorite songs. Just give me one of your one line. I'm sorry I'm putting you on the spot. No pressure. Put you on the spot there. Back to you. <laughs> give me one line of your song. Go on. Waves crashing all the time, causing havoc in my mind. Wow, come on, give it up, give it up. Wow, talented. Don't ask me to sing, don't ask me to sing. No way, talented right here. Okay, so look, that's the entertainment. From entertainment to another entertainment, we are on to the next category, which is the best entertainment show. Um, the ent entertainment category is the one of the shows that kind of literally just have the power to transport you uh, to magical realms and obviously showcase incredible talents and make us forget our worries at the same time. Who wants worries? Forget, forget at the same time. They're the shows that bring families together, the ones that make us sing along, dance in our living rooms, and simply have a blast. I love having a blast. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the nominees for the best entertainment show are... 
The nominees for Best Entertainment Show 2023 are Master Chef South Africa. Yo, MTV Raps and Cap. Hey, this guy, I'm not even done with the question, no! Okay, cool. Lil Wayne, you know which... Our friends... Young, famous, and African. The rising. If it hasn't been resolved before we walk into that room, we are going to blow up. Survivor, South Africa. Return of the Outcast. Be Sunday, your sexy love. Sunday couples to this beautiful Cape Town villa. You will get to see them as hey! celebrity game night. And as hilarious as ever. <laughs> Time. My love and hip hop, South you. Africa. You know we're not supposed to be sitting here together. What? We're enemies right now. I'm not having it anymore. So if you decide to come for me, I'm gonna. The Real Housewives of Durban. Because you don't want to be in spaces like this. Oh, we're going to get clarity where she has a different opinion and she and has a different opinion. The Real Housewives <laughs> of Johannesburg. Because you know when I see you, I see someone who's like... Mzanzi, icons. From a musical sense, falling off Ooh. is like one of the biggest fears. Have you ever felt like... That's right. Oh, the back, the people are so funny backstage. All right, so look, entertainment show. Uh, I'm getting, we're getting some entertainment backstage like crazy. The winner of this category is one of my favorite shows, actually, on Netflix. It's Young, Famous, and African. African. Congratulations, Young, Famous, and African. Winner of the best entertainment show. Are you guys coming out? Can you go come up and pick it? That's the whole idea. Who's coming to pick up the, the, the young, famous, and African? Who's going to do All right, we're going to pass it on to you and move on to the next category because time is of essence. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going into the world of um, international films. Uh, but let me just talk to you about your top three best African countries of all time. What was your top three best African countries of all time? Um, I definitely say South Africa. Definitely. And then second comes Nigeria. I really enjoyed yeah, the night. Nigeria is amazing, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then thirdly, because I love water, I just love the beach, I say Mauritius. Definitely Mauritius, yeah. yeah. Definitely, definitely. Right, so that leads quite nicely to our next category, which is the best international African film. And the nominees are... The nominees for Best International African Film 2023, sponsored by Mokingo, are Love, you know, I think it doesn't really Betty matter Campbell's how old you're turning, as long as you're surrounded by loved ones, your friends, your family. Goodbye, Julia, Sudan. Assassin, oh, South are. Africa. I can't let him kill her. It's time to come home. Leave him up! Oh. Algure, <laughs> Oma, Congo. Oma, Bele, and I. So I don't want to talk about what I'm going to do. What can we go like this, Simba? Oh, you can't get a little bit of a kid. I'm going to go to the Kwanza. Come on, I'm going to go to the Kwanza. I hate you so much! Gangs of Lagos, Nigeria. One day, the eyes will open to their power, and they will be. Sira, Burkina Faso, Senegal. The Planters Plantation, Cameroon. Terror Storm, Kenya.
Our brothers, Algeria. Khalei, Senegal. Okay. Right, very top category there. Uh, Best International African Film 2023. And the winner is Shimoni from Kenya. Shimoni from Kenya. I think we have someone from the embassy um, of Kenya. I think one of the ambassadors from the embassy of uh, Kenya here to pick up the award for Shimoni. Congratulations, Kenya. Absolutely lovely country. I've been there a few times. Congratulations to you, and that's the award there. There you go. Oh my God. Um, I'd like to thank um, the NFTA for recognizing this film. Um, I'd like to thank the voters for voting for it. And I'd like to really be proud of uh, the crew from Shimoni. Uh, they were not able to make it, so as the Kenya High Commission, we are receiving this on their behalf. And we are so very proud of them that they have done a great job and they've been recognized and rewarded. Thank you so much. God bless you. Congratulations. Fantastic. Jesus Christ. Ah, fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, from the world of captivating stories on the big screen, we now turn our focus to the world of real life narratives. That's why City uh, documentaries have the power to inform, inspire, and shed light on important issues that shape the world. Through the windows to different cultures, the lenses that capture history as it unfolds, and the voices that amplify untold stories. And let's not forget the incredible filmmakers and storytellers uh, who dedicate their lives to bring these stories to the forefront. So, without further ado, the nominees for Best Documentary of 2023 are... The nominees for Best Documentary 2023 are... Mili Sutando. To have white friends in a place like South Africa to try to create real connection. Lobola, a bride's true price. A strong man. Yeah. Of everything that Against all odds, the Alden Ace story. My name is Riva. He's the person that unfortunately pulled the trigger. Only he knows why and what led to it and what the reasons are. Pale Yakosa. Steinheist. There were accounting irregularities inside the trading and possible tax fraud. This company that was worth 200 and... Galagata, the life of Mendoza. Right, and the winner for the best documentary 2023 is Lobola, a bride's true pride. Lobola, a bride's true pride. Congratulations. Are they here? Okay, we're going to keep this for them. I might take this to London, actually. Uh, we're going to keep this for them. Um, right, so. Ladies and gentlemen, from outstanding performances to unforgettable stories, we've now come to the pinnacle of tonight's celebration. But before we move to our next category, we have our next performer. 
Right, she's a singer and songwriter with a unique style and certainly is looking at putting South Africa on the map, uh, performing her rendition of uh, the famous outcast tune, Hey Ya. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lucinda! Just don't get it till there's nothing at all We get together, oh, we get together The sex is always better when it's feeling devolved And then we say nothing is forever What makes, what makes, what makes What makes love so Why, 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 why Are we so in denial? Wow, 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 wow. Congratulations, Lucerne. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Um, thank you very much. Could you, let's just quick interview. Let's come up with a and Let's find out a little bit about yourself. Quick interview. And uh, so, have you got any singles coming out in music? Keep a lookout. I have something coming. There you go. That's what I like to hear. Wasn't that amazing performance? Give it up for her. Outcasts will be proud. They will be proud. Okay, fantastic performance there from Lusanda. Yes, yeah, beautiful performance. Right. And Jordan, look at my watch. It's about that time. Time for what city? Jordan, it's now time to honor the best feature film of 2023. Feature films are the epic tales that epic. transport us to different worlds where characters come to life and stories become timeless. That's right, that's right. Look, uh, someone said, Jordan, talk about the dress. The dress, I, I, I'll be honest. Come on, guys. She's, she's giving fashion week. All right. Yeah, so uh, diverse. Uh, the, uh, the canvases where directors, writers, and actors paint their masterpieces, uh, leaving an indelible mark on our hearts. And let's not forget the magic of cinema. 
where every frame tells a story and every moment is an emotional journey. I love that. Now, the nominees for the best feature film 2023 are... The nominees for best feature film 2023 are... Maybe when you go through my life, that is worth everything. Tell me what it is you want. We want the immediate release of... Love, sex, no, and 30 really candles. I think it doesn't matter how old you're turning. As long as you're surrounded by loved ones, your friends, your family. In this case, Wild it's just is the wind. Wild is the wind. The mental storm. Let's put a timeline behind my house that finally lets us last the 18 years. What are you planning? The Umbrella Man. Mensa van die Ven. The honeymoon. In number number, Josie goes. Till it can infiltrate the skin. Yeah, so to the number. Cleverish. Mm -hmm. I get dangerous for you. Okay, okay, okay. That's a tight category right there. Okay, uh, the winner for the best feature film 2023 is, I love this one, Cleverish! Congratulations to Cleverish. Amazing feature film. Congratulations to you guys. Congratulations. Amazing, congratulations to you guys. Congrats, congratulations, congratulations, congrats. Shoo. We'd love to thank our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, without whom this film would never have been possible. This was our first feature film, um, and it was not easy to produce, so we give him glory, the fact that we just even acknowledge we want to give him glory. This goes to him. And for all the thank yous, firstly, we want to thank the NFTA for the acknowledgement. I mean, the movies that we are nominated with, this is, it's outstanding. Like, we're so privileged to even be considered among such great work. Um, we'd love to thank Evod and the entire E-Media um, team, especially Helga Palmer and Tabang Petla for holding our hand. We'd love to thank, of course, uh, the amazing cast, Auntie, Hala, Sepisa Jame, everyone who was involved, and of course my superstar co-director and Tepa George Ngozi. Um, and of course, we'd also love to just thank every single person who took their time to vote for us, to use their data. What is our gift? What is our vision if there's no one there to see it? You know, what is our dreams if there's no one there to believe it? So we really want to thank God for this. And to all the clevers out there who know that it's not a bad thing to be yourself. We dedicate this to you. God bless you. Woo! <laughs> what? Congratulations, guys. Congrats, congrats, guys. <laughs> All right, congratulations to Cleverish. Give it up for Cleverish, guys. Okay. Right, uh, ladies and gentlemen. From exceptional films to visionary storytellers, uh, we now come to an award that celebrates the brilliant minds behind the camera. It's the best director category, and the nominees for best director are... The nominees for best director 2023 are... Stefina Zwani, I think it doesn't really love, matter how sex, old you're turning, and as long as you're surrounded by loved ones, your friends, your family. 
feel Samantha, now, do your best. <laughs> I feel like I'm not living the life I'm supposed to be. John Barker, the Umbrella Man. What are you planning at my bank? Oh, Stefina Swane, home wrecker. You want to get left out of our conversation? I trust him. It's her. Maybe Manda Dube, Silverton Sea. Tell me what it is you want. We want the immediate release of. So Fabian Media. Wild is the wind. Storm. Once with a timeline, dear Magav said, "Fine, this is last the after Bianca Isaac, the honeymoon. David Schroeder, Mensa van die Ven. Okay, uh, strong category there. It's the best director 2023. Uh, so the winner for this year's best director 2023 is Stefina Zwane. Stefina Zwane, Love, Sex, and 30 Candles. Stefina Zwane, is she here? Is she here? Let's see how that's Stefina Zwane, is she here? Is that, is that Stefina Zwane? Is she here? All right, so we're gonna give that to her. If she's not here, we're gonna pass that on to her. We're gonna move on to the next category. Um, the next category, what's the next category? So without further ado, let's unveil the nominees for Best Producer of 2023, sponsored by Fitch and Leeds. And the nominees for Best Producer are... The nominees for... Best Producer 2023 are John Barker, Joel Piri, Tabiso Chikapa Piri, Dan Jowitz, Tembaletu Mpebe, The Umbrella Man, Walter Irene, Manda Dube, Silverton Siege. That this case is just Fabian Medea, Tebiso Chikapa, Kiri, Wild is the wind. Is Amy Derman, Mensa van die Vent. Bianca Isaac, Gregory Mutanji, The Honeymoon. I need to pee. JP Fortrider, the number number, Josie Gold. Till it can infiltrate the skin. Yeah, so quite enough. Okay. Uh, right. Speak catch me. The nominee for then the winner, sorry, for the best producers 2023 is John Barker, Joel Free, Don Jules, and the film The Umbrella Man. Congratulations with John Barker. Congratulations, The Umbrella Man. Congratulations, congratulations, John Barker. Congratulations. Fantastic, congratulations. Congratulations to you guys. There you go, mate. Congratulations to you. Congrats. John, congratulations. That's very nice to win. Thank you very, thank you very much, everybody. My heart's racing because we also just won the rugby, so I just want you to tell yeah. you. Yeah, right. <laughs> But seriously, thank you so much. Um, it's so wonderful to be recognized as filmmakers. Uh, making films is so important, and it's so wonderful to see so many amazing talents here tonight, people we both worked with. 
and we love you. We love the support. Thank you so much. Thank you to Leo, to Joel Peary, uh, to Piso Peary, Dan Jarvitz. Thank you so much for being wonderful producers. Uh, it took us 15 years to make this film, but it's been such a wonderful journey. Um, it's been wonderful, so thank you so much. Also, I want to dedicate this to my father, Clive Barker, who passed away recently. Wait. This is for you, Dad. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, guys, thank you to the Known Associates family. Thank you. Fantastic. Congratulations, guys. Fantastic. The Umbrella Man. Right. We are literally about two categories away till the end of the show. And our next category is the Best Production Company, sponsored by Chateau Del Rey. And the nominees are... Nominees are... The nominees for Best Production Company 2023 are Both Worlds Pictures. I know exactly who the murderer is. Quizical Pictures. The highest gold. Till it can infiltrate the skin. Yeah, Satwadina. Urban Brew Studios. Temperatures are rising. If it hasn't been resolved before we walk into that room, we are going to blow up. Cheza Pictures. More deception and more stars that are drama. Don't touch me. Expect. Yellow Bone Entertainment. The world, not as children, but as crusaders. Stark Films. Oka Media. It's Brenda. Meraki S.A. You will choose freedom or death. Burns Onion Productions. Then maybe we shouldn't be together. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't. Because guys, whoa. Whoa. Finally, something we can both agree on. <laughs> Bomb Productions. Okay, right. The winner for the best production company sponsored by Chateau Del Rey is goes to Urban Brew Studios. Urban Brew Studios. Urban Brew Studios. Congratulations to Urban Brew Studios. The compliment side, fantastic, fantastic. Congratulations to you. Best production company 2023 Urban Brew Studio. Congratulations, guys, Urban Brew Studios. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Congratulations. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, we've been around for over 30 years, so we are very happy to accept this award. Uh, I'm with my colleague here. I think Ubedi would like to say something. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, for entrusting Urban Brew for all these years. I believe that we are able to make a difference. And thank you, everyone, for voting for us. Many years to Urban Brew. Thank you. Okay, okay. Right, congratulations to you guys. Urban Brew Studios there. Urban Brew Studios. Guys, we are down to the final category of the evening. 
Ladies and gentlemen, from outstanding production companies to the brightest stars of the industry, we now come to the pinnacle of tonight's celebration. That's why it's time to honor the final category, which is the Celebrity Personality of the Year 2023, sponsored by Vinette. And the nominees are... The nominees for Celebrity Personality of the Year 2023, sponsored by Telefonos, are... Connie Ferguson. Get, Get away from everything in this family. How incredible the water is. The temperature's perfect, the lighting's perfect. Oh, Insta Bunnies, this <laughs> place, if you want to have a good... Takejo, my boy. Taking their shot at a quarter of a million rand tonight. Asa. La Cizwe, Gambuza. Yes, I got my shot wish from your shot, but uh-uh, you didn't make sure that I was not good. Now you want to be good. Mimi, Gamini. The dream to be able to show at one of the biggest platforms in the world and one of the biggest stages on the world. It's an absolute honor. And to get to walk back. Boy, the tool, how it sound, etc. And he was like, Let's go. When it's time to pet some very fruits, for Nang Mateba, my own for Nang Mateba collection. So, kudos to me. I'm looking forward to that. If you're going to meet Steve Madden, you need my energy. Nadia Nakai, filled with women, also very powerful strong opinionated women and i think that's that's what's made me work yeah. natasha tahani when these are mainly is not date material it's not the end of the world i don't care God, I don't... stop it clement maosa so, juliet retoka romeo come on boys anyone zikona sonzaka Okay, right. Very strong competitive category there. Over to you. And the winner is Connie Ferguson. Connie Ferguson. Congratulations. Well deserved. Well deserved. Well deserved. Triple winners tonight triple winners congratulations amazing <laughs> congratulations congratulations <laughs> yes i tonight's a lot mate it's all the skipping videos, right? If skipping is going to get me awards, I think I'm going to continue skipping. <laughs> no, seriously though, um, oh my God, this is so humbling. So again, to my maker, the almighty, thank you very much. Tonight has been amazing. Um, Kings of Joburg, congratulations, my team. We've done so well. Um, three awards, one night. This is great. To the NFTA, thank you so much for tonight. Thank you so much for honoring the industry the way that you guys have tonight. I, we know that this is only your first year and there are going to be many more like tonight. But if this is the beginning, we're looking forward to more. Um, to my peers in the industry, thank you for your love, your support. Thank you for, for, for the camaraderie, um, working together to the people that voted for me. I love you so much. God, thank you for, for watching our shows. Thank you for supporting me through the years. This is my 34th year now in the industry. Um, thank you very much. I don't even know what, I don't even know what to say, guys, but thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Okay, congratulations again. Come on, give, give it up, give it up. Congratulations. Come on, 
You've got to support. Support is so important, right? Very important, very important. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible night it has been, celebrating the best in the world of film and televisions for 2023 right here in South Africa. Absolutely, Jordan. Tonight, we've honored the storytellers, the artists, and the visionaries who make the magic happen. That's right, the National Film Academy would like to congratulate all the nominees and the winners for this year's first annual National Film and Television Awards, uh, South Africa. In the meantime, feel free to log on to the official website, www.nationalfilmandtvawards.co.za for a full list of winners and updates on plans for next year's National Film and TV Awards. And closing the show tonight, we have the University of Pretoria, Ovua Cultural Ensemble. Until next year, may God continue to bless you, guide you, and protect you in all your endeavors. And always choose love, happiness, and unity. Look after yourselves. <laughs> Look after yourselves and each other. Thank you.